Hello and good evening. Glad you could join us for our continuing highlight coverage of the 2006 African Nations Cup and a hopefully entertaining match between hosts Egypt and the DRC. The quarters are now in full swing and the Pharaohs were hoping that their top striker Mido, who otherwise laces his boots for English Premiership side Tottenham Hotspur, will be fit after picking up a groin injury in the match against the favourised Ivory Coast, which Egypt won 3-1. But he won't be. Congo coach Claude Leroy has to make do without several players, the majority of which are on suspensions, like Gladys Bukhese. I wonder if he knows that his parents really wanted a girl as he was born. Felician Kabundi and Trezo Maputa also carded. What about Congo has earned itself the title Dirty DRC, the team with the under-the-belt fouls getting to places other boots can't reach? Well, enough of that and back to business. Out-and-out out favourites for tonight's game are the hosts who have presented some really good football performances so far, beating the Ivorian Elephants 3-1 and Libya 3-0, just slipping on a Moroccan banana in their second game. DRC won one, drew one and lost one, pipping Angola at the post on goal difference. Well, the hosts here are dressed to kill in red and white, and the DRC ready for action in yellow and blue. The master of ceremonies is Mr. Solvi Madou, all the way from Gabon. So without further ado, fasten your seatbelts, let's get down to some hardcore football. And we're off. And it's the DRC on the ball. Getting up front there, so Lua Lua. Lua Lua still on it, Lua Lua, it's a shot! Oh, what a shot, what a start! Portsmouth's Lua Lua almost gets us off to a dream start, this quarter-final clash. Bit of a scare for the host in the opening seconds of play. More of that, please. Oh, what a pace this game's got to it. Egypt up front now. Looks like a corner. Ready for the corner, there's. Goalkeeper Kalemba, the corner's taken short there. Barakat! Oh, Mohamed Barakat with a humdinger. Whizzes by Pascal Kalemba, but just across the goal. Not in it. But it was a warning shot. Congo means business. Or rather, Egypt means business. Up to the seventh now. Egypt with the thumb screws out. Going up front, it's across here. Zaki, Zaki just can't connect. That was close. The Pharaohs going all out in front of their fans. Their 12th man, so to speak. What a chance they had there. Beautiful cross there. Zaki runs in to get it. Just can't reach it in time. You see that now. Off he goes, slides in there, but the ball's gone, danger's over. Some anxious looks there. But Egypt piling up the pressure. DRC keeper Kalemba is a busy man tonight. Sam Hussain whacks the ball there in the right direction, but Kalemba has it. He's got it firmly in his hands this time, so many chances. It's just a matter of time before we see our first goal of the evening here in Cairo's International Stadium. Now that was straight to the keeper though. That was pretty easy prey for Kalemba. You may hope Motep. Oh, Hassan Hassan turns round. Oh, he's crafty there. Smashes the leather towards the net. The Pharaohs want an early goal. This could cause the DRC to cast their fates to the wind. Lovely turn there. Kalemba's got it though. Egypt rushing towards the Congo goal. Amazaki Kasongo brings him down in the area. What can you do about that? I'll tell you what's going to happen. Referee Zoe Madu, he has to point to the spot. What a careless interception by Amazaki. It was up there in neon lights that that would end in a penalty. And yet another card for the DRC. They must have a fabulous collection of cards at home. Watch him, how he brings him down here in the penalty area. I mean, that's, you, you don't do things like that. You know what it leads to. And it's coming up. They must be worried now, the DRC. Very, very careless. Looks like Ahmed Hassan's going to take it. 
On their way, 1 0. There's an angry Kalimba. Kalimba parrying that ball well. The ball live, Motsep tried ahead of there, but Kalimba is there again. Good work on his behalf there. Can't fault him. Egyptians still seem all smiles. Oh, he really parried that well. Well, he certainly saved the day. For the time being, anyway, Kalemba there. They're 2-1 down. They don't want to be all wreaking havoc in the Congolese defence. A very scrappy DRC defence, in fact, after watching this scene. <coughs> oh, he hits the bar. He duped Al Hadari. What a great attempt. That could have had the Egyptian panic buttons buzzing. There's the last try. We're all into extra time here. 